Okay, so in the previous video, I have shown you um, the logical equivalence between a certain a conditional statement and its contrapositive. And I have also mentioned that um, a conditional statement is not logically equivalent with its um, converse and inverse. But um, let us show an example for you to be able to understand the concept and why uh, that's the case. Okay, so we have here a special um, example, special example. Okay, so this is um, a true statement. A square is a special na kind of a rectangle because a square and um, a rectangle both have like um, four na right angles and um, also the opposite side um, has the same length. So that is true for both square and rectangle. So in short, square also possesses the properties of a rectangle, except that the square has um, the same length for all of its sides and the uh, rectangle <clears throat> is not okay. But there is something that you have to um, take note. Every square is a rectangle, yes, but not every rectangle is a square because there are um, a certain rectangle do not have um, do not have the same length for all of the sides, okay, unlike a square. Anyway, um, again, a square is a special kind of rectangle, is a true statement and may be expressed um, using an if then clause. So using an implication, P implies Q, we can express it as if the figure is a square, then the figure is a rectangle, okay? And from our previous video, we have also um, discussed that um, the contrapositive of um, an implication of a certain uh, um, conditional statement is logically equivalent, okay? So if the implication is true, the contrapositive is also true. So here is the, um, the contrapositive of uh, this conditional statement. So it is not Q implies not P. So basically, we just take the inverse of the implication, which is um, the negated the values of P and Q, and we swap the role of um, swap the role of the hypothesis and the conclusion. So we have the not Q implies not P. So the not Q is, uh, if Q is, the figure is a rectangle, it's not Q is, the figure is not a rectangle. If P is, if the figure is a square, then it's not P will be the figure is not a square, okay? So if this implication is true, then the, its contrapositive is also true because indeed, that um, since all squares are rectangles, okay? So meaning if it is not a rectangle, then it follows that it will not be a square, okay? So the converse statement on the other hand can be easily disproved, okay? So the converse is the swapped na statements. If the original na condition is P implies Q, the converse will be Q implies P. The Q is now the hypothesis and P is now the conclusion, okay? So if the figure is a rectangle, so that's, this is the Q, and then the figure is a square. But that is not the case. This results to false. Why? Because while every square is a rectangle, not every rectangle is a square. So this cannot be true all the time. Okay, so just because a figure is a rectangle, then doesn't mean that it will be a square. And it also follows that the inverse is logically equivalent with the converse. Okay, so the inverse on the other hand is the negated na values of, uh, <clears throat> of the original na condition. So this, it, this is not P implies not Q. Okay, so not P is if the figure is not a square, then it is not a rectangle. So we have already established the fact that a square is a special kind of a rectangle. So with this statement, it is 
um, contradicting this uh, truth. That's why this is false. So in summary, um, the implication and uh, its contrapositive are logically equivalent, but it's not the case that the implication or the conditional statement is logically equivalent with its converse and inverse. Lastly, the converse and the inverse are logically equivalent.